Kia ora team, my name is Ben and this wonderful human being is Shayla. Wonderful. And we're going to go through type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus. Alright, type 1 diabetes mellitus, are we born with this? So, you're born with a genetic predisposition. Beautiful. So what does that mean? I, I'm born, I live my life, and then what happens? And then you have a triggering event. Okay, it could be surgery, could be trauma, could be infection. And then we get an autoimmune reaction. And what do we break down? Beta cells. In our pancreas. Awesome. So these beta cells, they get destroyed. What is their job normally? To release insulin. Gorgeous. And when do they release insulin? Um, when our blood glucose levels are high. Wonderful. And if you release insulin, then insulin is like the key that unlocks the door to the cell so our glucose can leave the blood and enter the cell. In type 1 diabetes, do they produce any insulin? No. Wonderful. This person is going to require insulin injections daily to maintain their blood glucose levels. Awesome. Now, type 2 diabetes mellitus. What's this person done to get their diabetes? So usually what they've done is they've lived an unhealthy lifestyle. Wonderful. They eat their sugary drinks, they eat their sugary treats, their pancreas, beta cells, release insulin. Insulin is the key that opens the cell door that the glucose goes in. And they do this a lot and a lot over many years until what happens to the cell? If I knock on your door, what are you going to do? Turn you away. <laughs> Good. Hopefully the first time I knock on your door, what do you do? I'm going to let you in. Lovely. And I'll do it again and... And I'll get sick of it, so I'll start to reject you. Brilliant. So this is called insulin resistance. When our beta cells of our pancreas release insulin, the key tries to go in the lock, but now the cell doesn't let the doors open for glucose to go in. So that's insulin resistance. All right. Freaking nailed it. Thanks, Shelley. Boom.